life is for living. You have the opportunity to do and be whatever you want, to make change, to make positive impact, to live life to the full. Life is intelligent. The organizational intelligence of the universe is always presenting you with opportunities that will grow you towards your greatest potential. But if you ignore those opportunities that life puts in front of you, then the quality of your life is going to suffer. You're likely to feel like you're not growing, that you're stagnating, and you'll probably feel pretty frustrated that you're not where you know you could be. So in today's video, I'm asking the tarot cards, what opportunity in front of me have I not yet taken? As ever, choose one card intuitively of the three or feel into all the messages to see what resonates. And do let me know in the comments if anything speaks to you today hi it's kathy here welcome to my channel i make videos on transformation abundance spirituality and how we can make life easier and more enjoyable by looking at it through the lens of the tarot if you enjoy this video do please like and subscribe so that you get the latest content so card number one for today is judgment in fact i'm going to hold it up so you can see it more clearly if you intuitively picked this card or the judgment card resonates with you, then it might mean that an opportunity is close to you that you that may lead to uh, real life changing circumstances and personal growth. This might be something that you're conscious of, or maybe you've just felt it intuitively, or maybe you've even been avoiding or ignoring a, an important decision or opportunity that could lead to significant change in your life. So as you can see on the card, this is a resurrection scene. You can see this angel blowing a trumpet or a horn. Uh, and he, it's like a call to awaken the people from their coffins below. And it's a reminder that after death, there's always a rebirth. And with the angel above being in full color while the people are grayed out below, it suggests that by following a higher calling, that it will bring much more vibrancy, vitality and color into your life. So possible meanings in response to the question, what opportunity in front of me have I not yet taken? This might be, for example, if you're at a crossroads in life and you're in the process of deciding which way to go, the judgment card urges you to slow down. It's asking you to listen to your inner voice and trust your intuition, but also to think things through so that your decision is a full evaluation from your mind, body, heart and soul, because all of these are needed to guide you towards the path that's right for you. It also offers advice to reflect on your past actions and choices and consider how they've led you to where you are today. Now might be the right time to reassess your values and your priorities and to let go of any old patterns and beliefs and habits or even relationships that are no longer serving you in order to make room for new opportunities and experiences. If you're feeling a calling to do something, this card suggests that you should listen to your inner guidance and follow your heart. It might involve taking quite a leap of faith and embracing new challenges or opportunities that are outside of your comfort zone. But trust that you have the inner resources and the strength to make the most of this. It could lead to a whole new chapter in your life filled with much greater fulfillment and purpose. Ultimately, the judgment card is a reminder that you have the power to create your own destiny and that it's never too late to make a positive change in your life. It encourages you to trust in your own inner guidance and to have faith in your ability to overcome any obstacle that might arise. So card number two is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a really powerful uh, card or symbol for change. Uh, it, it represents the cycles of change and the ups and downs of life. And it's also a reminder that greater forces outside of human control are at work in life at the moment. So as a response to the question, what opportunity in front of me have I not yet taken? It might suggest that you're facing a turning point or an important decision that could have a significant impact on your future. It could be something that you're looking forward to, or it might be something that you're hesitant to pursue due to fear of uncertainty or lack of control over the outcome. 
But the wheel of fortune is always turning and it's a reminder that life is always in a constant uh, state of change uh, and it's made up of both good and bad times. And it's something that no individual on the earth can avoid, no matter what one's position or station in life is. So when you have good moments in your life, make sure that you enjoy them to the fullest because what goes up must always come down. Uh, but the same is true in reverse, you know, when you're in a bad situation, things will eventually become better again. So hold on to that hope. The Wheel of Fortune also brings a message that because life is constantly changing, opportunities are always presenting themselves. So it encourages you to be open to new experiences and embrace the unexpected twists and turns that life may bring. Another suggestion that this card brings is that you may need to take more risks or make a bold move in order to seize the opportunity that's in front of you, as it's through these experiences that you can learn and grow. This may involve stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new or different. The Wheel of Fortune is also known as the Wheel of Karma, and because of that, it sort of reminds us that what goes around comes around. So if you're kind and loving to others, then that's what you'll receive. Like you'll get that energy back. And likewise, if you're mean and unkind, then that's what will return to you as well. So be mindful and just take the opportunity now to send out positive vibes because something good could be just right around the corner for you. This card uh, it can also suggest that luck will play a role in your success in some way. But ultimately, its message is that you're the one who is responsible for creating your destiny. So it encourages you to take action and to just have faith in yourself and your abilities. But overall, this card is a reminder that life is constantly in motion and it's full of opportunities and challenges and that the key to success is to stay open, be adaptable, be willing to take risks. It encourages you to trust in the journey and to embrace the unknown with a sense of curios curiosity and excitement and just have faith that everything will work out in the end, even if it doesn't look like it's going to do that at the moment. So that's card number two. And the third card is the High Priestess. So the High Priestess card in tarot is often associated with intuition and secrets and hidden knowledge she's connected with the divine feminine and the seasons and cycles of the moon as you can see in the card at the bottom she encourages you to trust your own instincts and listen to your inner voice as it may be guiding you towards the opportunity that you were meant to take when she appears in response to this question about an untaken opportunity she might be suggesting that there's there is an opportunity here for you but that you've been overlooking it because you've only seen it at a surface level and haven't recognized how beneficial perhaps that it could be for you. Being able to see its full benefits requires a deeper level of understanding or awareness than you currently possess. So you need to look deeper within yourself or into the situation to discover what you're missing. So go beyond that surface level of any opportunities that are being presented to you at the moment so that you can uncover any hidden information or insights that can help you make a more informed choice. And as you investigate, just trust your intuition to guide you towards the right decision. With, the, with any possible opportunity that's in front of you, there could be more to the situation that meets the eye. It's also possible that divine timing may play a part as to when the opportunity will show up or when to take it. The High Priestess also suggests that the opportunity in question may be related to your spiritual or creative path and will require you to connect with your intuition, your imagination, your inner wisdom, uh, to fully understand its potential to make the most of it. Ultimately, the High Priestess is a reminder to trust in and stay attuned to your inner wisdom and to be patient and receptive as you navigate your situation. She encourages you to approach things with curiosity and an open mind. And by doing so, you may uncover new opportunities and insights that you hadn't considered before, or maybe will lead you towards a new opportunity that you haven't yet undertaken. So that's it for today.
I hope some of the guidance from the cards was useful to you. Do let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you're curious about what guidance the cards could give you for a specific personal matter and would like my help to go deeper, then do get in touch. My transformational tarot sessions can help you to find clarity, get unstuck, see opportunities, let things go that are no longer serving you and help you just get back in flow. The power is not in the cards, it's in you, it's always in you. And through my intuitive coaching and your openness to the process, you'll be able to access your own truth and knowing and literally see it displayed in front of you. Once you have clarity, you'll know what action to take, which can quickly change your life in a really positive direction. So it's hugely empowering and it can really help build your self-trust. You will find the links to my individual sessions and my four-week programme a line of flow in the description and if you like doing your own readings don't forget to download my free 111 questions for tarot oracle cards and journal prompts and again that links below so that's it from me thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time